Welcome, boys and girls, to another edition of Crafter Noons with Miss Brooke. Today, we're going to make some banners. With going back to school, I thought it'd be a great time to have some celebration. I've made a miniature banner here for our castle. If you haven't done the castle craft, you can go back through our YouTube list and see if you can find it there. You'll be able to make the castle and then append it. To make a larger pendant for your bedroom, first you're going to want to decide what size your triangle is going to be. I decided to make mine the size of a half sheet of paper. So the first thing I did is fold my paper in half. Then I decided I'd want two triangles on either side, so I folded my piece of paper in half again. Then to figure out the middle, Instead of using a ruler, I folded my piece of paper in half one more time. Then I could find the center point. From here, I used a ruler and drew a line. Let me show you. Here was my center that I folded. And then with my ruler, I drew my two lines. From here, you can use your scissors to cut it out. And what you'll notice is there's an open end of your paper and a folded end. And you wanna cut it so that the top of your pendant still has the fold of the paper. So you're gonna get the front side and the back side of your folded paper. If you wanna make a smaller pendant, you can keep doing this series of folding and get them smaller and smaller. Miss Brooke has already cut out a whole bunch of rainbow colors. So I'm going to lay out some of these just on the table like so. And what you'll need to decide is how long your pendant's going to be based on where you're gonna hang it. If you're gonna hang it at the top of a door, I think about seven or eight of these size triangles would work. I'm going to use just regular yarn. You wanna make the yarn long enough to hold tape at the end. So that it's longer than the banner. Now in the book Miss Brooke used to um, find this craft, they had placed pony beads between the pendants. So I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pony beads. Let's grab those right now. So on one end, I'll string on the bead. There we go. Miss Brooke was having a hard time putting my pony beads on because the end of my yarn kept fraying. So I'm gonna take a piece of masking tape to try to keep that stiff so that I can guide it through the hole of the pony bead. And the trick with this is to make it small enough around that it still fits in your pony bead. You may need some help from mom or dad for this, from an adult that's helping. Okay, this should go much easier. Oh, yes, look at that. Much easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
Now we'll put our pony beads. Space them out a little bit. And now we can just slip our pendants right in here. Right to the top of your string. You're going to have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it just right. Once you've got it like so, you can use your stapler. And that'll keep it in place. And there you go. Now, if you'd like, you can write back to school, happy birthday, congratulations. You can decorate them with glitter glue, stickers, markers. Have fun.